Whatever it is that's in your heart for you to do, let's go get it. Let's get it done. Let's go do that. Because now you have that belief in yourself. Your confidence is now greater because now you are starting to see yourself as who you truly are. When we have spoken God's words over ourselves, when we now believe, we now see ourselves as the way that he does, we now have that increase in our confidence. Our self-worth is untouchable. Our self-worth is untouchable. Self-worth, that's referring to that belief inside of you, that knowing inside of you, you know that you know that you know who you are. Can't nobody else from the outside come in there and tell you who you are. You don't need that. You don't need outside validation. You don't need that. Because now you're standing on truth. You're believing the word of God, who God says that you truly are. So now your self-worth, you know what? I got this. It may not look like the way that I want it to right now. But if you continue to work that thing, y'all, if you continue to work it every single day, it's like it's like exercising. At the end of August, I actually started going out and I put it at least a mile a day. I walk at least a mile a day. Okay. And so now for the past couple of months, like day by day by day, I feel myself getting a little bit stronger. I'm increasing my stamina. Now I'm able to walk longer than I was when I first started back in August. That is the exact same thing that is going to happen when you stand and you look yourself in that mirror. When you stand and you remind yourself every single day, first thing in the morning time, good morning, beautiful. That's you talking to yourself. Good morning, beautiful. That's what you're going to tell yourself. You're going to tell yourself, I am called. I am capable. I am competent. I am confident. And I am qualified. Whatever has been placed in my heart to do, whatever God has placed within me to do, I can do that thing. And I'm going to do that thing with great excellence because that is how he has created me. All of that is that self-respect. How you respect yourself, how you affirm yourself, regardless of how many times you get knocked down and people will still talk. People going to still tell you who you are. That part's not going to stop. But just the way they are telling yourself who you are, you have to tell yourself who you are. You have to remind yourself every single day, just like I get out there and go walk every morning. Every single day, you got to walk it out, telling yourself that positive self self talk. And not, I'm not just talking about happy feelings. I'm talking about the word of God, who the word of God actually says who you are. That's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to start blocking that negative stuff that comes up against you. Be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, no, uh-uh, I can't, I can't listen to that. Mm -mm, I, I can't, I can't, mm -mm, no, you talk over yourself. You speak up over yourself. You affirm yourself. Okay. Y'all got to watch my baby. <laughs> my baby work. He, he, this is, this is my manager. Y'all <laughs> I gotta, gotta watch him. Um, but you have to speak over yourself every single day, reminding yourself of who you are. Reminding yourself of who you are according to God's word. So that self-respect through the roof. Your self-respect through the roof. Because every day you are going to remind yourself of who you are. Every day. And when those when the people come up against you, I'm not telling you you have to be ugly to anybody. Sometimes it doesn't even require words. The absence of your presence alone 